The opportunity came to um, um, have a career change and uh, I took that opportunity a couple of years ago and decided that I would focus on my, uh, my artwork. So the Commission offered some uh, interesting opportunities around training uh, through the workshops and also the chance to uh, take some high resolution images and, and get some software uh, that would enable me to produce a, an interactive presentation um, that I could then put on a, a website for people to look at. Well, at the moment I've been drawing my inspiration through um, images of nature uh, and one of the things that always strikes me is the, is the way curves work uh, and that's been a key part of the way my art's um, developed over the years. But particularly with the sculpture, uh, I like to look for curves and shapes. And one of the things that's caught my eye, um, and actually in the skies around here in a little bit of countryside, is the word birds of prey. Uh, and particularly the red kite and has this lovely curvature to the tail. Uh, these are some of the things that I have programmed my computer woodcutting machine to do. Uh, that produces those on a wooden plaque. And the sculpture is more about minimalizing lines, uh, looking for the curves and the way the curves link together to form the shapes. So what I want to do then is to get some of that inspiration into some physical objects. So another example I have here uh, in the workshop now is the uh, image I have of a horse, uh, a galloping horse. Uh, another um, animal that has a lot of curvature to it, which is what I really like. But because it's a lot more complicated, um, I decided that I really needed to incorporate some of the digital skills that I have uh, into making this particular sculpture. So what I've done is I've scanned these images into the computer, rescaled them and then printed them back out to full size. And making curves is a process that I use a, a, a bolt rolling machine. This is going to be the base of the horse sculpture. It stands on one foot, so it needs to be really strong. So another part of the things I've been up to recently is constructing radio antennas. I suppose it's another type of sculpture, but very much more discipline and this is another aspect of communication really, not quite the, the, the digital computer uh, that we've been used to a lot and we've learned, I've learned a lot about on the, uh, the Digital Commission, but linking people around the world using radio. My uh, work's been exhibited in a number of locations in Stirling um, over the last couple of years. Um, heard exhibitions at the Smith Museum and uh, also um, as I say, at the engine shed, and we are now, we also exhibited in the toll booth. And also um, up at the university, I uh, have a, a metal sculpture there called Wave, which is three and a half metres high. That's on display in one of the courtyards. Yeah, the thing that's really been useful as part of the commission is building my profile in Stirling. And it's, it's developed towards being able to exhibit the tree in the Smith Museum Garden in July. One of the things that the Commission has helped with as well, with the partners that are involved, uh, it's given me a confidence to know that they're, they're all there uh, and also um, it's good to know that they're all interested in, uh, in, in what the artists in Stirling are doing uh, and that Stirling is, is, uh, is wanting to improve its profile in the arts world which is great. Having a mentor has been really useful for me. It's, uh, it's sort of focused me in on um, improving the quality of the images that I use and the way I present things on um, web pages. It's um, particularly useful for that. And also to give an incentive to, to move forward and, and try new things. Um, you know, moved in a direction which I hadn't initially thought about. Uh, having access to someone with a lot of experience uh, in the art and world of art has, has given me a little bit of confidence as well, I think, to. Uh, to know that what I'm doing is actually interesting and, and uh, of, of, of real value.